Nadi Shri Vengit Ramanan taking short and classes both in Malayalam and English in YouTube from the past one and a half years. Nowadays, I am sharing with you 120 words English short and speed dictation. I think you are all following and regularly practice my dictation. Don't forget to press like button, share and also add public comments. Okay, we can start. Ladies and gentlemen, I am very glad to be present here at the seventh convocation of this young university. I extend my hearty congratulations and good wishes to those who have carried away the prizes. My sincere wish is that may God bless them with a bright future. I know how much industry patience and strain, how many hours of toil are represented by these young men and women at the examinations to the others who have also taken their degrees at this convocation. I wish a bright future as regards those who have not been as successful in their examinations as they thought they deserved to be. I can only say that they should not think as a failure in their character. I call you fellow students because I hope I have not stopped learning. I would like to pay my tribute to the teachers and professors here and at other universities who keep the silver lamp of knowledge bright from generation to generation. They spend their lives on significant work quite unnoticed. In the history of our land, there is one fact which deserves to be remembered even now. In ancient India, kings and emperors thought it a privilege to sit at the feet of a man of learning and men of knowledge were given highest honor in society. Unfortunately, we have now ignored such intellectuals and men of knowledge. Today, an intellectual means a man who is intelligent enough to know on which side his bread buttered. Now, let me say a few words to the graduates who are about to face the struggle of life. It has been said that there are two kinds of fools in the world. They are those who give advice and those who do not take it. I proposed to belong to the first category in the hope that you will not belong to the seamed. Education has been called a method of transmitting civilization. In order to achieve that object, it has to perform two major functions, namely, it must enlighten the understanding and it must improve the character. The two marks of a truly educated man are the capacity to think clearly and the anxiety to understand the things properly. If your education has made it possible for you to think for yourself on the problems which face you and which face the country, your college has done very well by you. If this habit of thinking for yourself has not yet been developed in you, you would be well advised to acquire it after you leave the college. A formal education at an university does not mark the end of the educational road. You should continue to learn thereafter. The capacity to think clearly should enable the student to reject, when necessary, the ideas which are inflicted on him by the mass media of communication. If you are able to think clearly, you will adopt an attitude of reserve towards ideologies that are popular and be critical of the schemes that are fashionable. Students of social science must fear popular approval. Evil is with them when 
all men speak well of them it is almost impossible for a student to be a true citizen and have the reputation of being one at the same time the students should continue the process of learning even after they have come out of the university the pursuit of knowledge and the thorough search of the priceless cultural heritage of india and other countries are too fast for the longest life a well furnished mind is as rare as a well lived life i hope you will not commit the error as you go through life of merely doing your odd jobs day after day reserve a few minutes for great literature i would recommend to you the habit of reading at least a few pages of an immortal classic every morning before going down into the battle of the day inevitably the young men and women who are about to face the world will find disappointment in store for them let me know come to the second function of education namely developing the character what we need today more than anything else is more leadership founded on courage honesty and a sense of values there is no substitute for a sense of values it is essential that the students should acquire in understanding of and a lively feeling for values a sense of values will enable you to find happiness within yourself and joy in the most ordinary things which we often pass by unseeing the students who are familiar with the immortal heritage of india know the importance of the sense of values at various recent convocations students have been known to say that they want jobs and not degrees i do understand your problem and i sympathize with your difficulties but never forget that the problem of unemployment and poverty can never be solved only by empty slogans they can be solved by realistic economic policies okay